In this video, we are going to review how to set up an order form. The order form allows you to customize what information you want to collect from your attendees when they register or purchase a ticket for your event. If your organization has set roles and permissions, you will need the Create Events permission to access the order form. This can be found in the Team Management section of your organization's settings. Starting from your event dashboard, navigate to the left-hand side menu, click on Order Options, and select Order Form. There are two collection types. The first is Buyer Only, which will collect information from only the buyer of the ticket, and that means that every ticket will have the same information on it, like name and email address. The other is Each Attendee, which will collect information from each ticket holder, as well as the buyer. Then you have the option to choose which ticket types your questions should apply to. By default, Eventbrite collects the name and email address, but if you would like to collect more information, toggle the Customize Checkout Questions switch for more question choices. Then select the options under Information to Collect. When you toggle the Include switch, the question will appear on the order form, but attendees will not be required to answer it. And if you toggle the Required switch, attendees will have to answer the question before they can successfully place the order. If you don't see the information you want to collect, create your own custom questions for attendees to answer. First, enter your question in the Question Prompt box. You can then choose which type of question you want from the options. Text and Paragraph Text is where attendees can type their answers. Checkboxes are where attendees can select multiple options from a list of answers. And radio buttons or drop downs allow attendees to only choose one answer from the list. You also have the option to add sub questions, and you can limit the quantity of each choice. If you are adding your terms and conditions, you can choose the additional terms option. To finish the setup of your order form, you can give your registration page a title like registration information or order information. You can also provide instructions for your attendees that will be useful for attending your event and set the amount of time you want to give attendees to fill out their order form. You can also put a message in for when your ticket sales close, like online sales closed, but you can buy tickets at the venue. Finally, you can choose to allow attendees to edit their order information after registration. This way they can update their own details such as their email address and give your attendees the option to request a refund through their Eventbrite account. When this option is enabled, this makes it easier for you to approve and deny refund requests. And that's it. For more help planning your next event with Eventbrite, visit our Help Center, blog, or YouTube channel.